What's up my friends, welcome back. This is a special video for the holidays as always. At the end of the year I make these kind of videos where we talk a little bit about my channel, about the future of the channel, about you guys, about how to get in contact with me, projects and so on. So let's get started. And the topics that we'll talk about is obviously how this, how the, this channel went this year. Obviously it didn't go that well. I think it's the third or fourth year that I whine about this thing, that the views are going down and it's not about that I make less videos or less quality, actually it's the opposite. But as always, information, tutorials, science and stuff, very specific electronics thing on YouTube is not that... YouTube don't like that too much. They like more like amazing videos, more captivating. That's why this year I've used the paid services of vidIQ, for example, to make like the titles a little bit more amazing, more attractive. I'm working on the thumbnails as well. As you can see, I'm changing the thumbnails to be as attractive as possible to get more views. It helps just a little bit, but as always, these type of videos are very with information, tutorials and and um, science videos, but are not science, are just like a small niche, just tutorials about electronics. All the people that I talk around with, when I say that I work with electronics and I explain a little bit about the circuit, they say, hey man, I don't understand anything. So the people that are watching my kind of videos are very few, are, it's just a low value of, uh, of people. That's why I don't expect to have too much views. But anyway, we'll talk about the views, the future of the channel. I have a few uh, interesting and amazing news. So I'm not sure if to tell it right away. Anyway, in a few moments, I'll tell you some big news about the ch channel and about me, my personal life and maybe this workshop. Also, please, we'll have a Q&A by the start of the next year. So if you have any question related with me, this channel, electronics in general, place it below. And in the next Q&A video, I'll try to answer it. So yeah, that being said, let's just watch some of the statistics of the channel. So basically, these are the views. And as you can see at the beginning of the video, we had a little bit more views and they started to decline. Not sure why. I've even tried to make more videos. We have weeks that I've placed two videos in the same week just to get just a little bit more of views. I've also started to make a lot of short views, as you can see. But even so, the views are 25% less than the last year. 25%, that's a lot. And as I've told you, it's not that I make less attractive content or less or less videos. It's just because YouTube is not promoting these kind of uh, theory videos, tutorials. That's why I've tried to change a little bit the focus on the videos. For example, if I want to talk about the Magnetron, I first talk about what is a microwave because everyone knows what a microwave is. We all have it in our kitchen. And then I explain what we have inside and how to use it and what is the magnetron and so on. So I make something that is very specific in electronics to be more appealing to a broader audience because I explain you first something that you already know. And that's why I'm starting starting to change the, the thumbnails and so on. For example, the cathode ray tube is something very specific, but if you... Related with a TV, maybe it will get more views because everyone knows what a TV is. I explain the history. I'm trying to make different kind of content related with electronics and also insert some theory inside of that and some uh, projects uh, related with those well-known topics because everyone knows uh, what a TV is, but maybe they don't know what a cathode ray tube is. So you understand what I mean. So we have 6 million views the last year. This last year, 2024, which is 25% less. And this was the most viewed video of this year. And 297, uh, no, 297,000 views it had. And this was the video about making your own PCBs with the fiber laser engraver, which is the engraver that I have right there. And then we also made the stencil with the 0.1 precision, uh, 0.1 millimeters precision, which was amazing. And I personally like this video and I really glad that you also liked it as well and as you can see it went pretty well it uh, reached a very high uh, amount of views so thank you for that maybe we'll make a second version make it even better more professional who knows now let's take a look uh, over the projects that we had this year and the new series that we have started the last year i started the mailbag series but this year i think i had like five episodes and i really like to buy a lot of modules and then show you what to buy and what not and um, I'm glad that you like this kind of, this series. And as you can see, 
one year back we started with you must see and get to know me basically i was showing you the new workshop and also once again i was whining about that the views are getting lower and lower but now i won't do that anymore because it's what it is i mean i I've tried everything. I know that you will place in the comments, hey, please make this kind of video, maybe improve the video quality, maybe improve the audio quality, maybe make some other type of projects. I've tried everything. Just believe me because this is my work and this is how I pay rent. And actually, it's uh, very difficult nowadays to pay the rent because here in Spain, I'm not sure if you know, but the rent rents are, are skyrocketing. And that's related with the news that I wanted to tell you. I'm not sure if to tell it already or tell you later. Anyway, I'll just tell it to you and that's it. Well, basically, I'm just one more step to get a mortgage. I've, I've been trying to get a mortgage for a house for like seven years, but here in Spain, it's very, very difficult. If you live here, you will know that it's almost impossible for one like me with my income to have a home. So basically, like six years ago, I already had the down payment that you have to make at first which is like 10 or 20 percent of the house but it was impossible for me to get it because of many reasons but the idea was that you get into uh, some kind of loop because you say hey man if i will wait just one or two more years i save more money and i'll be able to get a bigger house or maybe some better conditions for the mortgage but it's not, not like that because in one or two years yes you will save more money but the prices of the houses are also increasing very fast and also the percentage that you have to pay to the bank is also increasing so it's basically like uh, biting your own tail because you have more money but the price is higher then you wait two more years you have more money uh, that you have saved but the prices are too uh, are, are higher are even higher so basically you are never able to get a, a home but this time it looks promising maybe the next month maybe the next year we'll finally have the home and that what implies what basically is that i will change the workshop i know that in this video in the two years back video in the three years back video i was telling you that the most thing that i most the thing that i most want for my workshop for my channel is to change the workshop now i know that this is a new workshop but it's not not even close to what i want basically this is just like a duplex apartment so basically I can see my home right there, I can see my kitchen, it's just some metal rails in between the rooms and then a wood floor, so I don't like it at all because below I have the rooms and there's where my baby sleeps, I can make a lot of noise and since the floor is made out of wood, I can wood use a plasma cutter, I can use a welder, I don't have a lat machine, I can't have big machinery here because the floor will break, I don't have a good uh, smoke extractor. So that's why I need like a house with a garage output and also a courtyard because I want to make a lot bigger projects. For example, I want to work with turbo reaction motors. I want to make rockets. I want to make electric carts. I want to make who knows what, something that I should test it outside. So that's why I will hopefully move to a village and have my own house with a good um a workshop below the house and also a garage output so i could test my drones my rockets in my yard or in the field so that was the news and that's related with one of the videos that i've made this year which is how to drill a well because i've started a new series and that video was this one basically i've bought a small piece of land and i've made a drill and also told you that i'm starting a new series to make your own container home that series is not over but it's just on pause because we had some complication with the mortgage and we had to sell that field so i don't have that terrain anymore but don't worry i still have the material all the metal bars that i bought i still have my solar panel my battery so the container home the solar panel system the greenhouse uh, system is still ongoing just under a small pause till i have this home and my yard and maybe build it there or if not just buy a, buy a smaller field and make it there so don't worry this series will continue because this is one of the videos that on the Spanish channel um, had most views this year. So for sure I will continue with this series, just not for now, because I will be moving and so on, hopefully. So let's just watch the videos that we had. We start with, with this Mat C because I was very tired. We just had our newborn baby and this year was very difficult physically and mentally for me because taking care of a baby is not that easy. And working at the same time and earning less money is very stressful. 
but anyway, <laughs> I'm still <laughs> I'm still alive, so don't worry about that. We made that uh, PCB project where we are making our own PCB from scratch using a fiber laser uh, module, fiber laser machine, and this is one of the my favorite projects, believe it or not, is the multimeter, because this, I think I've been on this project for like six years now, and it measures a lot of stuff, uh, inductance, capacitance, resistance, current, diode mode, frequency, a lot of stuff in just one small module, and, and I made it with this dial so you could automatically change the mode, it has a Bluetooth module so you could connect to your smartphone, so I, I think this is maybe my favorite project from my own list, and yeah, I finally made it. I'm not sure if I will make another update because it's already good enough. We made the laser measuring device, which I've already finished. I made a second version, which is this one here. And it finally works with the Peltier cell. What more did we... Oh, we finished the FOC driver, which is... I mean, it's not finished yet. It's just the second version, but it works quite well. I've made my own planner speakers. I've worked for this design for like one month, making iteration after iteration and not just this plastic case which was 3d printed was designed by, by me but also the membrane because this is a planner speaker and i've made the pcb to work with uh, sound and with some magnets and create like a normal planner speaker this is a very cool project we also started the solar panel uh, series which is that solar panel there but as i've told you this will be on pause till i will have space where to place it the container home we started the container home series uh, made a turbo jet blower. I finished finally my fully portable soldering iron. I was trying, I was trying to make this kind of portable iron for years now. But you see, it could be portable, but if it have a, has a wire and a separate battery, it's not that portable anymore. So I wanted to have everything inside of the same case, and this one has it. It has a battery inside, and now I want to make it like uh, wireless charging because because the problem with this iron is wor it's working very well, but since you only have one battery, maybe you can use it for like half an hour. Because if you make intensive work, each time that you leave it on the table, I want it to charge. So it will have like wireless charging or maybe two pins that each time that you leave it on the support, it will get charged up. In that way, it's fully portable, it's wireless, but you don't have to carry around your battery. You can have it on your table without any wires because that's the main problem for me with my soldering uh, station. That each time that I want to solder something, I drop something from the workshop table because my workshop table usually is full of components, PCBs and plastic parts. So you don't want a wire. I want it to be wireless and also, um, I mean cordless and also fully portable. And I finally made the Nixie watch. This Nixie watch I started like four years ago. I made the first version, I made the first PCB and never again worked on it. And this year I started and make it once again. It works, it has some flaws. Maybe I'll have a third version, but for now it works. It shows the time and that's it. We also have the my own design of the 3D printed motor because the other 3D printed motor, which is a great, was a great project, was not designed by me. It was uh, designed by a guy who's called uh, Lamer, something like that. Anyway, but that design is not sold anymore. I've talked with him and I say, hey man, I do, can I share your design? And he said, no, that design is not available anymore. I'm not working on that project anymore. So that's why I've designed my own motor and posted here. So if you want to make a 3D printed motor, you can get the design and make it for free. And that's it. This is pretty much what we had this year. And finally, I want to make some announcements. First of all, please don't get in contact with me through Facebook or Instagram because I never use that chat is full of spam, is full of receive like nudity pictures and people who just want to harm me. So that's why I never use, I never even told you that you could get in contact with me through Instagram or Facebook. That's why I've made my own forum, my own website. And now we also have a Discord channel, which will be this one here. So as you can see, we have just a few topics, but if you change to, let's change the, to the, another account, which is my account. As you can see, we have all the channels for the courses, which are the Arduino level one, level two and IOT. And by the way, I'll be posting these videos in English as well, because now YouTube have a, has an automatic translation. And once I have all the videos translated, uh, dubbed in English, I'll post the same, um, the same courses in English as well. So stay tuned for that. But if you also want to get in contact with me, you can get me here. You have the community, we can share memes, you can share your work if you have a schematic or a code, you can share it here. Basic questions related with all the channel and also all the tutorials that I'll be, I'll be posting, I'll place a thread here 
and you can then get in contact uh, with me and ask questions about that specific tutorial. So one more thing that I have here is un uh, game dev for Unreal. I don't know if you, I've told you this, but these last two years I've been taking a lot of classes and I've been making my own um, video game in Unreal. And uh, so basically I started watching YouTube videos. I've watched like more than 200 videos for tutorials. Then I, then I get uh, enrolled in an online course with like 150 classes. Then I made the remaster of that course and then a more professional paid course. So I have like thousands of hours of game dev. And at first I was the one who was entering forums and asking for questions. But now I realize that I am the one who enters the forums to answer the questions because I already have enough knowledge about the dev, uh, game dev that I could help others. So I will start a new series, but it will be only Spanish because there are already a lot of tutorials in English about game dev in Unreal, but in Spanish not that much. So I'll start a new series showing how to make your own video game in Spanish. So that's maybe not important for you because this is the English channel. But we also have the uh, private sessions. I think this will also be in Spanish. I'm not that comfortable to make private sessions in English. The idea is that for now I have the courses on my website. Let me just show you. So as you can see, this is the IoT course. And if you go there, here we have the Arduino level one, level two, and the IoT, and all the courses, obviously. But I'm also working on private sessions, which basically means that depending on your project that you have, I receive a lot of emails from people that want help from me. But you see, I don't have enough time. And if your project is too big, I can lose like two or three weeks for free. So that's why I've made some private sessions. You explain me what's your project about and I will tell you if I can help or not because maybe you are wanting a project for, with some kind of programming that I don't know. So if I can help you, I will tell, tell you what kind of session you need. You pay that session and then we make, your project, we make the projects together. So we'll be also working with that. Once you get into this category of a private session, you will be able to enter the Discord channel for a questions and private classes and it will be just you and me and in a video session you explain your project, I help you with code, with schematics and once again I think this will be only in Spanish but maybe I can make some, some exceptions because this will be limited because I can't have like more than 10 or 15 uh, people uh, in one month because we will have to have real private online classes so my hours are uh, finite i don't have enough time for all of you so you can get uh, maybe the, pl the places for this kind of uh, courses will be like 10 or 15 people because more than that i can handle so yeah we will see about that so guys basically if you want to get in contact with me use my website the forum or the discord channel the links will be below and also if you want to support my work and help me with my mortgage and finally have a bigger workshop and be able to pay my rent because here in Spain the rents are nuts this year and as you have seen my channel is dropping a lot in views you have my patreon below and on patreon we also have like I can help you with some questions with some schematic I share all my files and all my designs for free so check the links below for that and usually I make some recommendation for other channels I already made that in the Spanish channel but this year I don't have it for my English channel I didn't have enough time to make a list with small channels only for the Spanish one so this time I won't do that but have in mind that we will make a Q&A video so if you have any question leave it below and maybe in the next year 2025 I will make a Q&A video and answer all of those questions please make it related with this channel with me with Electro Noobs and the uh, electronics projects in general so uh, not to personal questions and not questions related with other stuff politics or football <laughs> I won't be talking about that so that being said, uh, once again, happy holidays, happy new year, merry Christmas and all that, and see you in the next year. Keep up, you guys.